Hey guys, uh, just out with the family today. Uh, the Massive Beast Experimental Forest. Uh, we're not going off on the side trails, because, well, this is our first time here, we don't have a map. But, we're on the gravel road, and there's something I want to show you guys. Uh, this is like only one of four I found so far. But, they make, these things make great hammer stones. So, so, let's turn you guys around here. See what I'm doing here. So all I'm doing is walk along the road, and you can see this ton. There's a puppy of stone, green sand type stone type stuff. And you just gotta keep your eye out. For example, right here, right here. That's the one I was looking at. Not perfect, obviously, but it could be used. This one's. Jim one would probably be envious of this guy, <laughs> but no, just found a very porchy sandstone. Oh, here you go, here's a good one. So it's a little on the sun side, but it's got nice, nice uh, curves to it. There it is. I mean, I'm not left-handed by any means, so forgive me here. But I mean, if it's good in the hand, that's just kind of stuff you want to be looking at. This guy is definitely coming home with me because I like it. Yeah, two, three smaller ones, so. But I think that's all I'm going to be grabbing. So I just want to show you guys that. So whenever you walk on, gra on gravel road, just keep your eyes open. You might find some napping tools. Alright guys, have fun, play harder. Okay guys. We're on our way back to the car anyway, so, and we're going to let the dog play around for a bit. So I figured I'd show you what I got so far. So, just give me a second here, I'm still trying to get this thing going with it. I can actually see. Alright, there we go, sorry guys. Okay, that's perfect. Alright. Well, found this on our, when we turned back, it's a, a Jägermeister bottle. Size looks pretty decent, De at least decently thick, <laughs> so it's bomb. So that's material right there. Uh, these are all hammerstones I found uh, on the way up to and from. Um, this one was first. The, the uh, mm -hmm, it's for my son, Garrick. Sorry. Uh, anywho, told you we were out with the family. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just like the grayness and the shape. That's pretty much what I was looking for. I found an even larger one towards the end. A nice gr grit. That is big. I got bigger. Oh. Anyway, it's a nice grayness. It's very much sandstone. I, I like it. So it could be here for some really heavy, big work, some spalling of sm uh, some smaller stones, that sort of thing. Uh, this one's just got an interesting shape. It's very egg-shaped. So got some nice kind of flat edges. We use this was one probably where I'll be doing a lot more a lot of the hitting. This face right here. Um, this is the one Garrick found actually. Yeah. It's not as gritty, but it's actually very nice and round for the most part. I'm really liking this. Uh, unfortunately, I don't really have a whole lot of stone right now to really play, play with these. But there was also a vodka bottle near the entrance of where we're at, so that my, that my wife saw. So just in probably an hour, hour and a half, maybe two, I, I found material and hammer stones to work it, work it with. So. If this was a, uh, as Dave Canberra says, a um, self line situation, I have tools and materials to make cutting, cutting tools. So, yeah, I'm good. All right, guys, so that was it. As always, have fun, play hard. Yep. Hey, guys, uh, well, hey, my camera bag just fell. Uh, I'm trying to get this thing out. Everything's fine, you know, obviously, as you can tell. Um, well, the uh, glass ball turned out to be Plastic. Plastic. So, it's still going to recycle it anyway, but 
Oh, I just found one piece of material that can be used and a lot of hammer stones, so. Well, that's it for this trip. And, uh, sorry I haven't gotten, I know I haven't done much lately. I've been playing with a new program, trying to figure it out, that's all. So, I do have, so, you saw the last one, I, I've been playing around with that one, so. Anyway, uh, have fun, play hard, and I'll see you out in the woods.